Okay. Um, let me tell you something about Super Auto Pets. This weekly, you take a frog. Ew. You see a frog, you take a frog. The only thing that matters is the frog. Let me be a Jolly Ranger. Kind of sounds like a Jolly Rancher. By the way, you know any Jolly Ranchers? I'm not talking about the, um, the pirate flag. I've just never seen like a television program about a guy on a ranch and it would describe him as Jolly. They usually seem fairly surly. Okay. Well, it's certainly an interesting situation we got here. What about churlish? Insubordinate and churlish? I'm not even worried about this. Like, they, I don't want the horses at all, but it is what it is. I think one thing we would love is this setup right here. So we create a nice little super cricket. We don't really care about a cricket getting to level two, though. We got to start thinking about what our future looks like. And I think maybe bat with some honey on it gives us the best chance to win right now. No wins in the first two rounds is, is pretty nasty. They've stolen my turtle effect, which also sucks. Dude, we're winning this one. Dude, where's my win? It's here. Let me get that level two frog. Um, I would sell the cricket, put a dromedary out here for the time being. This is a very unusual team right now. I... I'm going to pill you, and I'm going to take two jellyfish. I don't actually love the jellyfish in this weekly, but it is a way to get stats and then use the frog to take the stats onto something more useful. And like I said, what did I say to you? I think I said it to you. It's all about the damn frog, okay? The horse is just a body. The horse's impact we're not, we're not interested in right now. I will, that being said, I will buy a horse just because it gets us closer to a level and I will buy a bat because it gets us closer to a level and we'll get the all-important jellyfish level. We may be able to make a bison work. I think a cucumber can go hard as well. Feel free to screenshot. I gotta be honest, like it's kind of, well, I was gonna say it's kind of working so far and it is kind of working so far. Swap bat and horse? No. Because I, I get where you're going with this one. You're like, well, the bat, the bat will spawn honey and then, or a bee, and then the horse will give it plus two attack. Who cares? What we want to do is have two good units, one of which has melon armor here. The, the horse is just a guy. We could get rid of our frog. I don't really want to, though. Like, you're, you're way too worried about trying to get the horse's plus two attack to work. It's not a necessity right now. That's a necessity. The falcon is good. It's, let me think about this, okay? I think we want like this, which means we actually could run that now. Let's forget the falcon for now. Roll once. If the frog's sticking around, go ahead, take a cucumber for a minute. We're, we're one away from the bison working. Nice hippo. Just kidding. I'm getting so many question marks. This busted ass team is, is running wild on the enemies. Look at this. We got four straight wins. Yeah, plus, this, I didn't even realize our bison's getting freaking dromedaried out here. Go ahead. Roll. We want to make our jellyfish better. You know what? That's one way to do it. I do like a swan, but it's not, it's not a perfect fit right now. I'm telling you, frog is like... This, this weekly has illuminated for me how useful the frog can be. I'm embarrassed to admit that I was a frog hater. Go ahead. 
That's very nice. Fourteen, seventeen jellyfish. I think the dromedary's gone. It sucks because it has a melon. We'll find a way to add another one in the future. It's going to be hard, though, because I don't know where to fit a turtle on the team. But this is okay. Now the frog can actually go, now that I think about it, because it's not doing anything. <laughs> it's, it's not putting good stats on a unit with melon armor or anything. Now the frog can go. Okay. Even though it's got a cucumber. This is, it's good. Get rid of it. Buy it. Kill it. Take your melon armor. Lionfish is pretty good. Let's go lionfish. Oh, we can't sell our horse. Let's give the horse this instead then. Horse is our level three. I think I'm, I'm looking at seven wins. I am all right now. I don't think we're getting to 10, but I think seven is in the cards. Maybe we go a little higher if we get... Um, if we get a level two bison. Because you're scaling so nicely. Take one of those. Take one of those. Please, please. You know what? For now, we're going full econ build. This is the damn squad right now. Hey, NL. I saw Doctor Strange after you recommended it and said it was pretty good. Now I'm never going to trust you again. Honestly, that's fine. Not everybody out there is uh, cinematically minded enough to appreciate a Sam Raimi film. Michael Bay had one that came out a couple of months ago. It's called Ambulance. The entire movie takes place uh, in, an, in an ambulance. Maybe that would be a little bit more your speed. Plus, it's going to be on your favorite streaming service soon. I'm sure it'll find its way to the Roku channel. Boom, roasted. Stanley, you crush your wife during sex. Boom, roasted. Okay, this team goes off. You like The Lobster? You can't talk? Bro, The Lobster's a good movie. Chat, back me up here. How do you feel about your ghost, Lanthimos's film, The Mo I mean, Lanthimos's film, The Lobster? Eight wins. Ass, ass, ass. <laughs> Terrible. I, I, Josh, don't even get started with me because I do this bit where I'm like, people are not able, the, the average smooth brain cinema viewer is not able to properly critique a movie if it doesn't fit their expectations. Instead, they just go, that was weird. That was, so I'm supposed to believe I'm supposed to suspend my disbelief that, like, if you don't find yourself married by the time you reach age 38, then you become an animal? What? do we? And yet we never see Norman Osborn working on the machine that turns men and women into animals? We never see what kind of adamantium generator powers this machine? At least say what you will about the Super Mario Brothers movie. But at least they show Toad going into the de-evolution chamber and becoming a Goomba. Yorgos Lanthimos didn't even have that cinematic vision. He just had Rachel Weisz talking like a robot. Go into the bathroom and you got to knock on the door. Honey, what's taking you so long? Are you doing Unshen Andalusia in there? Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you're already scaling. You, you take some benefit here. You could use it. You know what? Why don't you take one of those? You see, easy come, easy go. You know what? Why don't you take one of these too? Easy come, easy go. Freeze one of these. Oh, dude, you have to. I'm so stupid. You have to take a Stegosaurus. An Unshen and a Lu reference. Pretty rare on Twitch. I thought you were going to dunk on me because I said Unshen Andalusia. Thus illuminating that I only know it via the Pixie song. Mm -hmm. 
You have to take Stegosaurus. So this is nice, for sure. Take a little extra. We're looking for a Stegosaurus. A bad for the future, sure, but a, but a Stegosaurus. A Stegosaurus. No Stegosaurus. Okay, this is going to sound crazy. Sell a horse, buy a walrus, and place it right here. I'm realizing now is going to overwrite the honey, which is not what I wanted for that. <laughs> but that's okay. Hold on, we're cruising. You see the vision, you see what I'm going for. It, it, guarantee, it hopefully guarantees or maximizes our chances of turning a draw into a, or a loss into a draw. Stegosaurus. Level 3 bat buffs the jellyfish. Hold on, holy cow. No Stegosaurus. I'm a simple man. We, we keep this, we keep it rolling. We could draw this one. So I'm thinking you actually want to do this. If we draw this one, we're very happy with what our shop looks like. Eight gang rise up. Who's going to tell them? We're already on nine gang. We just won. We just went ten gang. My God. I told you it's all about the frog. That was a big win. Choose prediction. Ten wins. I'm not saying... Look. I've lost a step in sap. That much is, is obvious. But at least, I fucking hate this shop for the record. At least on this weekly, I understand how to get to 10. I also, in trying to get to 10, be a helpless lizard, um, I oftentimes get to 2. But I do understand what it takes to get to 10 on this pack. Frog is not mid. If by mid you mean high... High above me, she's so lovely. Then sure, then it's so... It's mid. Like Joan of Arc or Aphrodite. A do 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 Big Marmoset incoming. Okay, two wins, two wins. I actually think the bear can kind of go off. But it's got to be a, the, the perfect situation. That's real good. I think you could take a puppy, sell your cricket, and then run this squad right here. Sure, let's keep a marmoset. You never know when a bison might show up at some point in the future. Any plans for Canada Day? I forgot about that shit. That's in like a week and a half. You're lucky. Um, no, no plans, really. The problem with living in a city like Vancouver, I don't have a ton of friends to begin with, but none of them own a house where you would have like a barbecue. The way that the, the friendship, like, tr transmission works, when you live in a, a big city, people come and visit you. Hey, I'm in town for work. Hey, I'm in town for a conference. Hey, uh, I just wanted to go on vacation. They come to your city. You go out to nice restaurants and stuff like that. But anytime there's, like, a situation where you're, like, you know, like 4th of July, Canada Day, where you need a backyard and a barbecue and like a swimming pool, you've got to be like, hey, my friend from Maple Ridge, what are you doing for Canada Day? Hey, my friend in Bellingham, Washington, what are you doing today? These people do not exist for the record. I have no friends in Bellingham. Ever since I went to the Bellingham subreddit and saw how much they hate Canadians... I've, I've, I do not stop in the town anymore. Congratulations. 
I'll, I'll buy my Tillamook cheese from a different municipality. Big wins. Muckle Tio's my new best friend. So true. Friendship ended with Bellingham. Friendship started with Muckle Tio. Straight out of damn Linwood. Honestly, you can laugh at me all you want. I'm going double salad. Used to live in Bellingham and I hated Canadian drivers at the time. The, the worst part about this is that I can't even really blame you. Because, like, I complain about BC drivers all the time. They're, like, pretty ass. But I am a Canadian driver. I forgot about the puppy, son of a bitch. As a Canadian driver myself, I feel like I can insult them. So when I'm like, BC drivers are annoying, I want you to be like, yeah, except me. But when someone in Bellingham says, I hate Canadian drivers, I'm like, fuck you. I am a Canadian driver. Plus, I don't even want to talk. Dude, the i5 pisses me off so much. Like, the typical i5 experience is like, it's Saturday. It's a monsoon level rain. I'm driving five miles an hour over the speed limit with my knuckles turning bright white. People are zipping past me in Tesla Model Ys. Like, I'm in their way. And, like, accidents never happen. And then, like, five minutes down the road... There's a huge, lethal fucking car accident and traffic slows to a damn crawl. Could you just, when it's, when the rain is coming down, cats and dogs, could you just relax a little bit? We can all get to where we need to go. Vulture. I do love a 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 level two puppy. Honestly, I'm gonna pill you. For now, I'm gonna sell this horse. I actually, I know you're gonna be like, but the horse synergizes with the bear. Nah, man, it's not that good. It's, I'm, I'm telling you the horse is like, is still, Somehow to this day, the most overrated vegetable or vegetable, <laughs> the most overrated animal in the game. It's still ass, S still crazy after all these years, still assy after all these years, too. Hit, hit the fish, hit the damn fish, hit the damn you piece of shit. Okay, we are on lethal, but we got chances here, okay? The first chance is your ass has to leave. I'm sorry, I wish I could have pilled you. And then I think we have to run like Marmoset at the front. Or we could, <laughs> you know, we could do. Hold on here. Sell the Marmoset. This should be fun. Sell the Marmoset. Bear, Anteater, Parrot. Now I recognize we'll be losing one summon here. Oh, baby. What did you summon two better ants? Not necessary. Put me right here. I'm crying. Why? Because it's so good? How about this one? The Seattle Premium Outlets. They're nowhere near Seattle. Dude, when we were on our way to our in-laws, like, uh, I don't know, two or three weeks ago, we were going to get them something nice because they're always like so uh, hospitable to us when we go to their house, okay? We said, oh, don't worry about it. We'll just stop in at one of the outlets. So we Googled like premium outlets. Or it's, it's called something like the outlet. Premium brands. We pull off the damn highway. We go through 20 different like turns. Big box store, Wasteland. Nothing. And I, I don't mean like, oh, there were like n bad stores. 
we drove through a enormous concrete ocean parking lot of just empty buildings that had like old signage on them that had been like scraped off. Like clearly this used to be like a Nike outlet. outlet. This used to be like a Lululemon or something like that. But now they're all gone. There was like a Kumon and that's it. Welcome to retail in 2022. I just wanted to buy like a, I don't even know, like a nice Japanese whiskey or something like that. Dude, honestly, you need a, a lemon here. You go to the front. Probably should have stuck with the para, but whatever. Am I crazy to think that this, this thing can freaking work? Oh no, you're sloth. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Pardon me. What about sake? Is sake good? You're gonna get me in trouble, okay? Don't kill me yet. This could be a lot of fun. I think sake can be good, but I also think that in North America, it's kind of a meme, in a way. Um, you've taken my lemon. All I mean by that is that compared to something like the, the versatility of, of beer and wine and other liquors, if I went to somebody's house in Vancouver and they were like, oh, would you like some sake? I would just, I would be sort of confused. I would be like, are we having a Japanese-inspired dish for dinner tonight? Level the bear gives honey to all pets that are one space away. You know what? I'm willing to forego a level of puppy scaling. And I know that the Spinosaurus maybe can work here as well, starting next round. Maybe we sell an anteater and run a parrot behind a vulture or something like that. Let's give this a try. Why would you buy the bear? Because we're getting like quintuple honey or something. Man. Did you? Did, are you hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth? Quintuple honey. Look at this. Have you done a liquor tier list? No, but it's like for many reasons. A big one is honestly that I'm just like a guy. I'm like, look at my face and then tell me what liquor you think is on top of my tier list. Go ahead. Oh, wait. Have you got an appraisal here? Whiskey. Yes, correct. You've done it. The first person typed it in. Nobody looks at a, a guy in his early 30s. And goes, oh, I wonder how he feels about Uzo. I enjoy a, a whiskey from time to time. That's about it, though. Vodka is just like a guy. It's just like a drink. I haven't had my wine phase yet. Soju is pog. Soju is... It's not, <laughs> but it is, kind of. Hold on, I have to recenter myself on this run. It Soju tastes, like, really bad. Like, it just tastes like something designed to get you drunk. Which is fine, because I don't think there's any pretense about Soju. Like, vodka lies to you. There's some vodka that's like, this is for getting drunk. And then there's some that's like, oh, this is for sipping while you eat oysters. Soju is all like, here's, like... Nine bucks, give me a bottle of something that's going to fuck me up. There's no pretense associated with it. I at least respect that. You know what? Hear me out here. Forget the Spinosaurus, even though it's like one of the best animals in the game. Two level two vultures. How about that? It makes perfect sense to me. 
bear is useless? What are you talking about? The bear is the... It's the stir that's... It's the spoon that stirs the damn drink, man. Allegedly. Please, please don't kill me. Oh, what a shot, though! Did you see? And then we're overriding your lemon. We're going... We're going in on that ass? Okay, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What a strong aardvark. See if I care? I don't. See if I care? I don't. See if I care? I'm starting to. I'm starting to. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, we still got the eight. That was still fun. I think that showed us that a bear can do something for us. This, this is bullish for eight, gang. Still pretty fun. The bear was ass? What are you talking about? The bear did incredible work in the early and mid game. Let's go! Splish splash, I was taking a bath all upon a Saturday night. Rub dub, just scrape it in the tub. Okay, so what do you do from this point onwards? You, you get the frog to level two, starting on round three, which is a given. I was really hoping we get maybe like one more frog. Um, and then you get something like a jellyfish. You let the jellyfish get statted up. We were close. And then you sell the frog to move the jellyfish stats onto something with a better ability. It's so, like, not great, but... Okay, if you have to, then you have to. Yeah, I, I guess, like... I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this. But it's okay. This is, well, HP is not at a premium, we got nothing to worry about. You just, if you lose, you lose. We'll make it back later. Wasp is good, copium. I actually think the wasp is okay in this pack. Like, I think it, it tends to one for one with a strong unit, which is, that's worth something, but it, I'd be lying if I said that it was what I was looking for here. Neither is this what I'm looking for, by the way. You know what? Let's, let's start creating a super bad or something. I guess we probably would rather have a croissant on a, uh, on a wasp now that I think about it, but alas. There's our draw. God, this is just such a slap in the face, man. Honestly, I think... Put a jellyfish out there. Even though you have honey, put a turtle out there. Croissant the wasp. If we build up enough stats, then we can just swap the stats around to whomever we see fit. I'll, I'll take it, man. I feel like a mad scientist for real. Sure. Freeze me for a second. I really wanted that to hit the wasp. Okay, we're going stats on the jellyfish. We're going salsa on my balls, boys. Okay, so here's my thinking. We're about to have a 9-3. A 9-3 wasp. You know what would kind of go hard? What if in... So we're about to get our ass kicked for one. But what if we took that 9-3 wasp and put it on a turtle or something like that? What if we waited until it became a 15-3 and put it on a turtle? Hold on, we have zero wins. You know, when you put it that way, that's pretty true. But look at this, now our jellyfish is a 4-6. Only hold on. Now, wait, oh, but you're swapping stats. Do we care about swapping stats? Not really. Not really at all. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. 
Zero wins is actually good because we'll be underestimated by our opponents. It's actually like a, a, a very positive thing. As you can see, it's working out nicely for us. Do you like mango salsa? I can't talk about that shit right now. I'm fighting for my damn life out here, man. Okay, new strat. Sell the jellyfish. Create a glass cannon hippo. A 10-3 with melon armor once. Salad me, please. There, dude, what the, now I'm like, I don't want to swap your stats. Your stats are better this way. What about creating a cool turtle? Cool turtle? 11-3 turtle? Cool turtle? They've wasted their frog. I'm a genius. I told you it could work. Wasp buff is the next turn. The wasp is ass. I regret ever having taken it. It's a 4-4, four, four, right? Well, I guess I did just take his stats from it, so it's not really a fair assessment. I would... Let, let's get this going. You're immediately better, and then, you know, are we swapping stats? I guess I wouldn't mind swapping the bat stats onto the bison to speed it up a little bit. We could live. This is livable. At the very least, we didn't pay out the turbo haters. That means something to me. Very important. Honestly, buff me. Sure, that would be nice too. Now move the buffalo stats or the bison stats to the hippo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is this it? My first one bet? Uh, not if you bet on anything above like three, I think, but maybe. Holy cow, we did it again. Three wins. Level me. Level me. I think now we, we put Frog at the back. He's, he's done his part. We could even sell Frog if we had to. But buff the hippo. Is this the salsa on my balls strat? What, one of many salsa on my balls boys strategies I've been known to employ. You're so freaking lucky that you're gonna override your own weakness, you piece, by the way. Never mind. Never mind, we win these. Oh, frog is my bison trigger. You're absolutely right. Not necessary. Very necessary. The bat has been really good for us. It's it's very hard for me, even though a snake would be good, is really hard for me to replace what could soon be three weakness. That hurts. This one hurts a little. Oh no. No, wait, we're fine. We're still fine. We're still fine. It's actually unbelievable. Lord, I've seen what you've done for others and I want it for myself. We got all the way to five. Okay, keep it coming. 
No popcorn, please. We have to try. Chocolate or bat, please. No chocolate, no bat. I mean, dude, this is way too late for, like, a cucumber on this one. I gotta roll and set up our next round. There's our next round right there. You know what? I mean, if I'm... Oh, no, because we're gonna level you, which means we can... So hold on. Hold on. Freeze me, because I'm gonna sell your ass next time. If we live, and it, it's a huge if. Wait, the bison could become his own level three? We have to live long enough to make it happen, though. You got me. You get. I was so close! Still, fair enough. Honestly, the fact that we pulled ourselves out of the out of the muck on that one is kind of impressive, given how bad it started. Pay out the five betters. Kind of a cool synergy going on there. That's why Octo is Pog. I mean, their Octopus was going to get his ass beat. Uh, if he didn't overwrite his own weakness. That's why the turtles pog. Okay. Okay. No frogs. I'm scared. How about a sticky head? You ever hear of these things? What are you snacking on? I'm not eating, it's an optical illusion. Just kidding. It's my leftover cliff bar from this morning. Previously I was disgusted when I looked at the ingredient list, but then I got hungry and I was not disgusted anymore. I was eating some mango salsa. Why are you so obsessed with how I feel about mango salsa? Here's, let, I'll give you a little cheat code, okay? If something is a salsa that's sold in stores, I like it. There's no salsa you could sell in a jar in a grocery store where I would be like, that's disgusting. Lucky. That was very necessary. Very necessary. Very nice, and very legal. Like that for now. I'm not taking the frog, okay? I just whipped up some homemade guacamole. Congratulate, it sounds fantastic. I love salsa, I love all forms of salsa. Honestly, I'm going to go a little crazy here. I'm going to sell, sell, so that we get a super bad out there. And I embrace this. You should come here, though. Burger King foot salsa? Okay, I probably would prefer not to eat Burger King foot salsa if given the opportunity. But I don't know because I've never had it. Thoughts on this TikTok? Dude, I, so I, I think I found myself on TikTok because Dan linked a TikTok to Mouth. So I watched that and then I scrolled down and there was a TikTok. It was a, a woman in China. She had a face mask on. She was watching TV in bed and she was throwing shit on the ground. Um, and then she got a phone call and I think her parents are like, we're coming home. And then she started cleaning her house. So it showed her like vacuuming her whole house and then uh, putting all the clothes in the laundry and then doing the dishes and then like uh, squeegeeing the windows and stuff like that. So I was watching it wondering like, wh what's the punchline? I swear to you, this TikTok was like four and a half minutes long. And it had like seven million shares. I, d I thought it was going to be 15 seconds long because the average TikTok is like a robot voice that's like, Tell me you're a boomer without telling me you're a boomer. I'd like to speak to your manager. 500,000 shares. This was like, when did they raise the, the character limit on TikTok to where you could put short films on there? 
Oh, it was an ad to show off the gadgets. No doubt. No doubt. She had, she had cool everything. She had a cool vacuum. She had a cool laundry machine. She had a cool, like a shoe washer, a cool humidifier, cool food storage. It was, it was spawn con, but that's okay. What are we doing? We need to not run a four squad. So that's the first thing. Forget the dog. Put a marmoset out here for now. This team can still go off. Why would you want a cool laundry machine? Well, I feel like um, people perhaps naively assume that if they had a cool laundry machine, they'd be more excited to do the laundry. When actually, as we all know, you normalize to new stuff, you know, very quickly in your life. And as a result, your laundry machine, you know, the things you, you own end up owning you, as uh, Tyler Durden said. Level three marmoset. Who would have thought? And you know what? I mean, I do not want to run this pill bug late game. Let me just leave it at that. But I think this squad can do something. Next, you sell the pill bug. Wait for lemons. You sell the pill bug next round, replace it with a goose. Buff the hippo, it goes off. We got very good bat luck. We didn't override anything. We couldn't. We we didn't want to override. We got a win. Okay. Thank you. How about one of these? How about one of these? And honestly, while we're here, how about one of these? Because we have to stay on two gold anyway. We want a lemon for our puppy as soon as they're available. Override the cucumber on the. You needed to override the cucumber on the dromedary, you piece of shit. I'm, I'm going sicko mode. Very smart sheep from them as well. Very smart sheep. We're on lethal. That's scary. It's not a dromedary. It's a camel. Um, excuse me. A camel is a type of dromedary. I hate to do this, but your ass is gone. We're replacing you with Anthony Mackie. The falcon. Also known as the hawk. Buff me. Buff me. Two more bats? Dude, if we could just live through this, if we could live through this one, anything could happen. We're gonna win. We're gonna live through this one. You don't scare me. You don't scare me. If you were a sap animal, what animal would you be? Um, I think I would be mango salsa. Important. Important. Roll once. Exactly what we were seeking. I'm scared of this crocodile, though. In fact, I think we will lose. I know we will lose. By one! You piece of crap. Five, that was better than five wins. But you know what? It wasn't, because it didn't get there. That was rough. We, we were right on the cusp of greatness there with that last shop. That's okay. My baby will be walking soon. Any advice? Um, I mean... I don't know how to do let me be a jolly joker real quick. Uh, yeah, buckle up. Buckle up is a good way to phrase that. That's when things... I, and I, I was talking to, to some other dads at, at uh, daycare about this. It's a double-edged sword. Because w for those of you who, who don't have kids or maybe not familiar with, like, you know, how the developmental stages of a child... The first, like, month that you have your first child is just madness. You don't know what's happening. They don't know what's happening. You drive to the hospital as one individual. You leave the hospital as a different person. And then you don't get any sleep. And it's, uh, 
everything's scary, you're Googling stuff like 20 times a day. Then you enter almost like a recovery period where, especially as the dad, the baby is not that hard to care for because they just sort of like sit there. From like one month to whenever they start walking or crawling, I guess. But they're really, they just kind of chill in like their, their chairs and stuff like that, going like, It's still hard. I'm not going to say that you, you don't have things to do, but it's a little like it's a come down period from when things were crazy. But then it ramps up again when they start to crawl and it ramps up like crazy when they start to walk. But it also coincides with other developmental milestones that I think allow you to actually be like a good dad. Like being a dad for the first year of your child's life is just like being a caretaker to a dependent basically like you you know in your head that like this is your child but it's not like you're getting any thank yous or anything like you're not imparting like important life lessons but once you start being able to take your kid to the park and then you know at communicating with them and being like what do you want to do and then your kids like go on swing you're like okay let's go on the swing then you really start to be able to feel like a dad. So I guess all I would say is this is where, you know, prepare yourself. You're going to put more work in over this period when your kid starts to walk, but you're also going to get more in return. You're so old. You shouldn't be trying to throw me, okay? I see the 10 next to your name. You're a super believer. You should be supporting me. <laughs> Yesterday, he kicked me in the nuts and laughed. You'll, you'll still get some of that, for sure. That's not going anywhere. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. You know what? I'm going crazy. We don't need another unit as much as we need a croissant. We lose these, but that's okay. I did it to my dad once. I'm kind of waiting for comeuppance because I remember I, uh, my dad told me a story about how when I was two, he was really sick. And I came like running out of my room and jumped on his stomach and groin region with such impact that he threw up immediately. So like this whole week as my stomach's been very tender... I've just been keeping an eye out because I know history might not repeat, but it rhymes. So I was just waiting for my daughter to be like, Daddy! And then like run up and jump on my lap and then I shit my pants. So I've been, I've been keeping an eye out. You know, give me one of these. I don't care for the pill bug. I, I just said that. I don't care for the pill bug. I don't think we croissant anything. Headstrong, I'll take you on. Headstrong, I'll cross on anything. I, I really wish I wasn't pinning so much on a fish here, but we're, we're kind of in a holding pattern still. But it is, like, it, it's genuinely, like, it changes the game as a dad when your kid can communicate. Like, I actually feel like a parent now instead of just, like, a, a guy who's making sure that my child doesn't die. <laughs> There's still a lot of that, but... Uh, now we can also have, like, a conversation. To, not, you know, an advanced one, but a conversation nonetheless. I gotta be honest with you. This run is so insanely cursed. I should probably just take a dog and try to build off of it. I think, I think we have to acknowledge I'm rolling and looking for nothing. So we should just take a dog. I can't get rid of my swan. This is, this, so I have to get rid of my fish. This is disastrous. And then add a spider and freeze two other spiders. This is a problem. We 
It won't be long until the conversations just turn into them asking you for something they obviously can't have and you saying no. See, that's uh, true, true. That's pretty true. Don't shoot my marmoset, even though we lose anyway. But I... And you don't know what kind of parent you're going to be until you're in it, I'll admit. But I have definitely thus far... I'm sorry, Swan. It has to be like this. I am thankful that I have not been one of those parents that has a problem saying no to their child. We'll go hawk, that's fine. Like so far, like sometimes, you know, I'll be like, what do you want for dinner? And she will she started saying, um, which is so cute, but she'll say, um, cupcake. And then I'm like, are you crazy? I'm obviously, what kind of parent would I be if I gave you a cupcake for dinner? That's just madness. And sometimes she'll like, she'll get quite upset. She'll be like, no, cupcake, cupcake, cupcake. And I'm like, you can cry all you want. I'm not giving you a cupcake. Like that's just, I, I can't give you an adult sized cupcake for dinner. That's just madness. Which is why I was laughing so hard at that, um, the mom photo where she was like, uh, my th little three-year-old has loved driving all his life, been obsessed with it all his life. Is there anywhere I could take him where he can drive instead of just driving on our dead-end road? I'm like, you just gotta... Part of being a good parent is just learning that you gotta say no to your kid, like, a lot. I know how this sounds, but like... The child does not actually have any power in the situation. They only have the power that you give them. What are they going to do? Cry? Like, they, you get inoculated to that in, like, the first year of their life because they cry all the time. So if you're going to cry because you can't have a cupcake for dinner, that doesn't bother me because I've seen the other stuff you cry over. You cried over everything. You're so lucky that was a sheep. Holy cow. Yeah, the child does not have their own best interests in mind. You, you gotta... Three? I thought, well, actually, that run was insanely cursed. Three is about where we deserve to be. Drake? Who? Okay, two, three. Now we're talking. Let's, let's get back on the horse, man, by skipping the horse. Honestly, I'm just going to say it. Let's take some big dumplings. My lovely lady lumplings. Has he gotten past five wins? What the hell? You come into my chat and say that shit. We started with a beautiful 10 piece, the likes of which you've never seen before. And then I think we had an eight piece, which is not that good, but it's still okay. We need the frog, though. No no frog equals lose like a log. Not even sweating it, man. Anyway. But I think it's like a misnomer. I, I wouldn't suggest that uh, like the average parent is not good at saying no to their kid. It's really just that's such a good unit for us, man. I think it's just one of those situations where like a few bad apples uh, like spoil the bunch. Like, all it takes is one parent who's like, well, um, officer, he said he wanted a gun for his birthday. What am I supposed to do? You only turn six once. What is this team? <laughs> one, six, one, six bat and a level two iguana? That is a, LA, uh, that's an Oakland face with an LA booty right there. That is not good. Buy me, sell me. Buy me? This is incredible. Hon honestly, I'm gonna go a little insane. I'm gonna run around with three swans. Just for future purposes. Then we'll combine them next time. Even if we lose this round, I'll, I'll feel okay. But we're gonna win this round anyway.
Oh yes, I'm playing Insano style. For now, take garlic. We can afford it. This is this is what happens when you have this much fiduciary responsibility early. You know what? A hippo that we can hopefully get buffed. Nothing of merit. You know what? Something of merit. How about you just take a croissant for now? Then we run four stacked for absolutely no freaking reason. Get ready to sell your fish to run like... Well, no, we don't even need to sell it right away, but... This is still very good. It's still good. Still good. Hippo went off. The swan, yeah, the swan is social distancing. I know a lot of people are trying to pretend that the pandemic is over or whatever. They're pissing and sneezing and farting and coughing into the open air two steps away from me at the cheese section at Whole Foods. But the swan is a science respecter, okay? And for that, I am a swan respector. More puppies. No more puppies. I mean, these animals are ass. So, you know what? If you're sticking around, take a croissant. Let's capture some value. Ass animals. Still ass animals. Freeze me right here. That's bad bat luck. I know I already told you this, by the way, but I'm going to lose my freaking mind if I see one more ad in BC telling me to get my booster shot when I already have my booster shot and they won't approve my age group to get our booster shot yet. Every time I turn on the TV, I'm condescended to. A bunch of like 70 year old people flying kites and shit in Vanier Park. Don't forget, do the right thing for your community. Get your booster shot. John Oregon, you won't give me my booster shot. Stop wasting my money to tell me to get a thing you won't give me. You're just putting dollar bills right into the paper shredder. It's like anyone else here from Vancouver when um, last summer when, when COVID, I think it was the Delta wave was going off and uh, noted longstanding member of parliament, Hedy Fry, made a tweet that was like, hey, my constituents... I'm really disappointed in how many of you under the age of 40 have been vaccinated so far. Look at these numbers. Almost everybody in their 70s has gotten the vaccine and almost nobody in their 30s has gotten one. Hedy Fry, we haven't been approved yet. You, could, you gave it to the 70-year-olds first. We're not even open yet. And then you're saying the, the old millennials aren't taking the jab. They, they, they won't let us in the damn clinic. Anyway, she deleted the tweet after we cyberbullied her, which was good, but... Okay, fine. You know what? If you're gonna force my frickin' hand, then sure, let's do it. Okay, fine. You know what? You should add a grape to the team. He just keeps yelling. Josh, this is what it's like on Twitch now, okay? You're going to tell me that we're, I'm not allowed to yell on my own show when your whole thing when you were on the NLSS was making me yell? That's messed up, dude. Your, your modus operandi was making me yell. And now you can't uh, put the genie back in the damn bottle? Bullshit. You can't tell me that. The mod pizza situation was not engineered to just make me upset. It's like the, the classic formula for, for tilting me. Pretend you're not hearing what I'm saying. Pretend you're not hearing what I'm saying. Pretend you're not hearing what I'm saying. Then at the end, ask me a question about what I've just been talking about for 10 minutes. Shit drives me crazy. Don't ignore me. I'm kind of stunned, by the way, that this run is as good as it is. Because we really only have the puppy and a lot of money. My hippo? That's horrible news. Like, I, I genuinely think we can fall off pretty quick.
I don't care for the swan. We don't need it anymore. I'll be honest with you, with so much money, I think we want to see a seal. The fish had his chance. Now, the seal is going to become a buffer. Now, this is something I have not really run on this pack so far. This is beautiful kismet. I'll take this for sure. Don't talk to me. I think the seal, with the amount of money we got coming through right now, could be quite beneficial. How did your team get so fucking strong? You had like four double-digit HP and attack units, and they all had lemons. How did that happen? That's... We literally just fought a cheater. I'm not afraid to say it. Maybe this team's actually kind of ass. That's amazing, though, if we live through this round. Luck, luck, skill, luck, skill. Please. If we live through this, we overrode a lemon. That's fantastic news. We can do this. We can do this, man. There we go. Okay. Ice cream. Ice cream on my balls, boys. Ice, ice, ice cream on my balls, boys. Level 3 bats probably more important than just getting one extra buff out of the seal. Take another cupcake. Stegosaur is pretty important. There's no denying that. Anyway. <laughs> I love using the octopus, by the way. I know people love to insinuate that I had, don't care for the octopus. It couldn't be further from the truth. As we lose this one. As we draw this one. My problem with the octopus is I, I don't want to take it when I'm on lethal because it requires enough investment that I feel like I'm kind of destined to lose um, while pivoting. Even though there are two of them. You know what? Just for you. Okay. Get out. Get in. They gave me a shop that made it make sense. I think we don't care about puppy scaling here. We care about you taking a lemon instead. I'll just be honest, this hippo is not doing it, man. Oh, this true white tiger would have the octopus popping. They got their own octopus with blackjack and hookers. Very good luck on the mathematics for me there. Takes us to eight. I, I really don't feel like I sell hippo and take octopus. Uh, sorry, sell hippo, take tiger. I, I just don't think I can bring myself to do it. I can bring myself to do that. We don't really need you to be level three anymore. Level two is acceptable. You know what? Why don't you take a, a lemon briefly? Maybe some extra seal gas in the future. Now, do I want you at the... I think I want you right here. And then we'll try Hippo third to clean up some detritus at the back. Puppy buff? We do... We're, we're playing close to the damn skin right now. This is a nightmare! 50-50 dog! Hey, look at that, though. We... We... We certainly did get the octopus to do a little damage one time. Okay. Eight damage, though. Eight damage is good. Honestly, big problem there. Hippo never took off. Not eight damage. Eight wins. Eight damage to my psyche. 